Hello everyone. I am the Pali. My name is Aditi. We are here to present you about our startup Ubu Nani. So Ubu Nani is an online marketplace for daycares and preschools. So which daycare to choose? This is one of those questions which is troubling young parents. You know where to go, uh, where to leave your child, and this is ultimately forcing one of the parent to leave their job. So we did our pilot in the past six months, and we've come up with some concrete inputs based on which we've devised a solution. It is a knowledge-based platform which will be enabled by technology and help parents in taking an informed decision. So we invite you to be a part of our exciting journey. And for that, we are asking you 40 lakhs for 20 percent of our company. I think the model of aggregation and providing the services to parents is a great model. Yeah. I think there's a fundamental one flaw in the model. Here, what the problem is that a parent will get five crashes that he identifies with all the metrics you've given them. Then they may not need to change their metrics ever. Yeah. So uh, as we mentioned, the average lifetime uh, value of a parent is around one and half lakh per annum. So going forward, we are going to form deeper integrations with these daycares, where we integrate their payment platforms as well. So that ensures uh, you know the repeated uh, flow because this is one of the problems which daycares face. Second, there are events which keep on going in with across different daycares. Uh, so like summer camps, winter camps, mom and toddler programs. So events like those. Thirdly, we did another experiment uh, during our pilot, which was on-demand daycare. So while parents go for say dinners uh, or for restaurants or for movies, so they uh, come to our platform to book daycare service for a few hours for which they are gone. So for this, we charge them premium service on an hourly basis. What's your revenue model? How are you gonna make revenues out of it? So the revenue model. So first is the 20% commission from the daycares. So we'll be charging commissions from daycares. Second would be promoting their events and offer. And third, as she mentioned, that we will be also having on-demand platform, so we would be charging for that on-demand service. So What is the revenue you have got till now? So we've not got, uh, say, in terms of numbers, we've not got any revenue since now. But we invested since uh, we were doing a pilot. We've invested around seventy thousand in marketing and got three hundred direct inquiries. Customers, with so us every in day service. we are still yeah. getting two to three inquiries yeah. for parents asking and helping us to choose their daycare. Firstly, to start with, I love women entrepreneurs. Okay. So very, very happy to see you guys here. Thank There you. are very, very few women entrepreneurs uh, so far in India who scaled anything. But it's so great to see. Lots of new uh, budding uh, women doing Thank business. Thank you so much. I also so, like women entrepreneurs, so don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> She's not the only one who likes women entrepreneurs. If something happens, who's liable? The daycare or you? So technically, the daycare is liable as per the legal terms and Absolutely. conditions. Yes. Yeah. You know the way I'm looking at it, it's a it's a very very early stage. They have just done the market study Six and they're just going to launch. Absolutely. Mm, yeah. So yes. and you know their their uh, revenue is just to start. Business technically is yet to start. I think so, the idea is kind of fine. You know what? I love kids. I am because you don't not, have. I, 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 I love kids playing with their kids. Same way you like women entrepreneurs. Yeah. <laughs> because you see, so, so for a matter of fact, by the way, he got married to her, his boss. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so he loves women entrepreneurs. <laughs> About. We would probably love to have you Absolutely. in season two. Like you girls, uh, get incubated, yeah. get accelerated, yeah, take yeah. the help. Make it a little bit. Give us a proof of concept and and come back. Sure. Right. So we would love to give you an incubation offer, and for that, if you can walk towards the safe and uh, take out to the road. Thank you so Thank much. You. Congratulations. We have got valuable feedback from the investors, which will be used in the further further expanding our business. I really think uh, repeatability was a huge issue. It's a big issue. So OYO itself is not a uh, successful model for me. No, uh, OYO is. OYO fit be is. I, I don't think so. Yeah, but, but I, I think I think these girls will go somewhere. If you would give say OYO seventy on hundred, I'll give this ten on hundred because repeatability is a huge. This is not a bad model. This is not a bad model. Once you identify those five places that you want to use, after that, those guys will cut you off. They'll probably make money for the first. They don't want to cross the upsell. Right. See, they 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 are evolving the model. Yeah, they'll evolve it and they'll make something out of it. Absolutely. I really hope.